Hello and welcome to Cubase Elementary. This is a series of videos for Cubase Elements users. But actually the thing we're going to be looking at today you can actually do in all versions of Cubase from LE, AI, Elements and the other two. Uh, for a while now I've been talking about um, in the latest version of uh, Cubase Elements LE AI version 10 Steinberg have included the MIDI gate and this is a neat little plugin which allows you to achieve something along the lines of sidechain compression effect. So what am I talking about? Well let's have a listen. So at the moment the MIDI gate is in bypass and after the first pass I will turn it on. Let's have a listen. So it's just four chords and a kick drum. Let's turn on the MIDI gate. And off again. So as you can hear, you, you can get that sort of a pumping sound, but it can do a lot more than that. So to start, I'm going to delete that track and I will show you the whole process from start to finish. So the first thing we want to do is, as you can see, the kick is an actual piece of audio. So we're going to double click this, which makes it appear in the lower zone. Of course, if you're working with a MIDI bass drum part or kick drum part, you won't have to convert it to MIDI because it's MIDI already. So you can just skip this bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the hit points menu here and you can adjust the threshold to make sure that all the all of the kick beats are within range and then you just hit the create MIDI notes and we will create a new MIDI track. Click OK. And let's get rid of the lower zone. So the next thing we have to do is we have to put an instance of the MIDI gate onto the synth part. So let's go to your audio inserts and I already have a instance of MIDI gate loaded up here. So let's open that. But this won't do anything unless we actually send this MIDI track to it. So if we click on here, as you can see for the output, I've chosen MIDI gate. That's very important. So the MIDI track needs to be sent to the MIDI gate on the synth track. Hope that makes sense. Okay, let's have a listen and see what's going on. So what's going on at the moment is that's pretty much the opposite of what we want. We want the gate to open when the kick isn't being played but at the moment it is opening on the actual beat. So what we want to do is we want to invert that. So let's double click this MIDI part. And as you can see, all we have is the converted MIDI bass drum parts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these, go to MIDI, lot, um, functions even, and then click Legato and that makes all of these notes as long as they can possibly be without interfering with a note in front. And then, because all the beats were there, 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 we're just going to choose any one and just drag them all back about halfway. So now we have the opposite of what we had earlier, which leaves us with And it's worth noting that obviously what you get will change depending on how you adjust this. I'm sure you can hear what's going on there. I think a very pleasing effect is just having it about halfway because then you get that wow, wow sort of sound. And obviously there's the actual plugin itself. Let's have a look at that. So the only things you really have to be concerned about, at least to start with, is attack, release 
and note on, note off. So let's see what happens when we click it to note off. In note on mode, the gate only remains open for the time set with the hold and release parameters, regardless of the length of the MIDI note that triggered the gate. In note off mode, the gate remains open for as long as the MIDI note plays. The hold and release parameters are applied once a note off signal has been received. Let's increase the attack. And the release. We're now on the no soft mode. Again, if we select all the MIDI and just play around with this a bit. Let's put it back to where it was. My advice is just have a play and see what you think sounds good. So I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. <laughs> I probably haven't explained this very well, but you should get the hang of it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos soon. Thank you.